can't see everybody's names though. Can I can I do this or will it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's see here. Um, Alam and uh, Eduardo and Joao. 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 And um, Marco, can you can you add the YouTube uh, app, please? Yes. So everybody needs to have the YouTube app. That's. Um, I've already added a uh, YouTube app, app on my pay teacher. Okay. So um, now you need to click on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, now you need to click on it. Can everyone see the video? Rebecca. Yeah. Can everyone can everyone see the see the Yes, video? yes, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's done, teacher. Can play this feeding anyone anymore. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the uh, here's the first one that we're gonna take a look at in in a minute. So if you're if, if you're in the lobby, if you're in the chat, um, I just sent the uh, video. Oh, okay, Ryan. Sure, no problem. I think it's good to like go around. Once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that. People know teacher. what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Yes. Uh, will we watch uh, the video directly uh, on YouTube or on uh, our hometown? Um, we will. We will watch it here in the class. In the class. Mm -hmm. In okay. the class um, screen. Okay. Yeah. In the class screen. So. I mean, if you want to watch it by yourself, that's fine. But you would have to mute your own, your own. Uh, no, no. Yeah. No, so no, no. I, I, no, no, no. I will watch uh, in uh, uh, in class screen. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Alam and uh, Ryan and Marcelo, you still need to. Um, you you still you still need the uh, app, okay? So and you need to uh, join it. So okay, so let's see here. Say it's got it. Okay. All right, great. So Marcelo, I see that you just got it. Perfect. Um, so I still need um, Ryan and uh, Alam. To, to get it before we before we get started. Yeah. Okay. So great. Um so this is me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um and my name's Rebecca. Uh I, I mainly teach the uh, TOEFL course on Colingo, which is the uh, Colingo's Tricking the TOEFL course um, that uh, is finishing tomorrow. So you probably have not seen me on uh, the classes before because uh, I'm substituting today for the normal class. Um, and one of my specialties is pronunciation. Um, I, I really like working with pronunciation. And um, I wanted to show you guys, um, basically a lot of, a lot of people uh, like, to, like to listen to songs mm -hmm. um, to improve their pronunciation. So uh, that's what that's what the plan was for today was um, to show you some really good songs. Like what are what are characteristics of good songs? Okay. And also, what are some not so good songs for pronunciation? So kind mm -hmm. of both. So that when you uh, work 
on your pronunciation yourself, you choose good material to follow. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, rap songs. Definitely, probably on the not so good side. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're very fast, and um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're going to take a look at um, uh, some some good ones and some and some not so good ones. Yeah, well, I don't know about worst. Um, so Jose is saying that the worst songs are rap songs. I actually kind of disagree, um, and I'm going to show you a couple of of songs today that are. Really, I would never choose them to work on my pronunciation. Um, so let's let's go around the room. Um, I've never met you before, so tell me a little bit about yourself. We don't have a whole lot of time, so let's start with you, Alam. Are you there? Hello. 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 Yes. My name is Asli. I'm I'm 29 years old. I'm from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I'm based in Australia. And I'm speaking English. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Oh, I agree, George. Um. Uh. So George George says that there are ESL teachers um that uh teach with rap songs. Um, and I agree, but when it's um, individual study, it's, it's harder. So what I'm working, um, what I'm focusing on today, how you should choose your songs when you are working on your pronunciation, and you want to choose songs that are that are very clear when you don't have a teacher. Um, so that's that's kind of my goal, because I don't get to do it very often. So I want to give you good tools for your self-study. All right, and next we have Amine. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Everyone, uh, my name is Amin. Uh, I am uh, 37. Mm -hmm. I am from Casablanca, from Morocco. I'm a pharmacist. Uh, I'm a beginner in English. I have just begun uh, last uh, month in February or March. Mm -hmm. uh, I speak French, <laughs> I speak Arabic uh, and Spanish. Mm -hmm. And English. I, uh, I, I have just begun learning English this year. Mm -hmm. One month or two months ago. Uh, ago. All right, wonderful. Nice to meet you. Um, so nice next you. we have. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, next we have Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Hello. Um, hello. I'm from Brazil. I live in São Paulo. I'm 38 years old, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to improve my listening and my speaking and my writing. English. Perfect. Perfect. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you, Eduardo. And let's see here. Uh, I'm very bad with names. Jairo? Jairo? Yes. How do you pronounce your name? Jairo. Jairo? Yes. Um, so where are you from? What, what, uh, what's your goal? Yeah, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I'm in college to improve my listening and conversation. And basically, that uh, I see you a uh, time ago in your pronunciation classes, and oh. I'm back. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I remember because I had a hard time with your name back then too. Ah, <laughs> uh, so the name, the name, him remember you. Perfect. Well, thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, Ryan, you're next. Hello. Uh, so, my name is Ryan. Uh, I am 25 years old. Uh, I am a student and I, I work as a nurse. Uh, I'm here just because I have uh, a little difficult to understand. 
and I need so much to improve it. Okay. Just it. Great. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. Um, let's see here, Jose. Okay. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, this is my first class with you. All right. I'm from yeah, good to meet you. Uh, I am from Peru, and mm -hmm. I try to learn English. I would like to to take a TOEFL, maybe, or an IELTS, and try to apply for a working visa. Very good, very good. Um, so I'm assuming that you've been watching the, the Tricking the TOEFL courses, then. I think I recognize your puppy dog, so... Okay, I will. I will try to follow you. Perfect, perfect. Um, Marco, how about how about you? Hello, uh, my name is Marco. I am system analyst. Uh, I work with telecommunication, and my goals here at Colingo is uh, improve my English with uh, write, read, and conversation and listening. Okay, great. Great. Um, and, and this it's my first class with you, Rebecca. I know. I I, I uh, I'm glad to meet you. It's I'm I haven't uh, done this this kind of class in in a while. And it's a lot of fun. So um, I'm I'm glad that you that you get to see a, a good lesson from me. Okay. Thank you. All right. And let's see here. Um, next we have Oliver. Hello. I'm uh, from Chile. I am 37. And like everybody else, I think that I want to improve my English. Okay. And uh, we had one more person that, that joined, and that was Emma. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Emma, and, just. And uh, where, where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Kurdistan. Okay. Yeah, I'm a student in uh, department Department of English Language in third year, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm, my mother tongue language is Kurdish, and I speak Arabic as well. All right. Uh, and I have a barber shop. I'm a barber. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I kind of need to get a haircut. Do you cut women's as well, or just men? Yeah, I cut off. I cut off my Woman, uh, my wife's hair. Uh, you you cut you cut your women, your your wife's hair. Yeah, I do. I did. Sorry. Um, the uh, it's just if you say I cut off my wife's hair, it means completely off. So but why for men? Just cut. So for men, we use a uh, cut off, right? Nope, just cut. No, really. No. Just cut. Yes, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, cut off is like amputate. Cut off. Yeah. So, mm. um, or or uh, cut off um, uh, the 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 sound. So, if I cut. Uh, you are you are mute, I guess. Yep. That's because I'm trying to show you cut off means like to yeah, I know what cut off is mean <clears throat> cut off is mean but cut off the head yeah yeah mm -hmm. but uh, I was thinking uh, uh, I thought it's <clears throat> it's uh, it's used for hair nope, we can't just... <clears throat> we can't only yeah we yep. can't uh, we can't only say cut the hair yep that's it just cut hair yeah yeah you don't cut off hair because then it means like maybe bald. Maybe I won't have any hair at all. <laughs> yeah, I think there's uh, some idioms you don't know it in English, like fading and blending hair for men. You know exactly. Um. So so yeah, there's a lot of things like that. Uh, that that we have special meanings in, in English. Yeah. You know, sometimes you use the preposition, sometimes you don't. It it depends yeah. on your on your meaning, yeah. Yeah, in barber shop, fading, fading, you know what fading? Fading the hair, fade out or blending, blending. Blend. Blending, blending the mm -hmm. hair. 
step by step. Like um, blending tobacco? Yeah, it's hard to. <laughs> um, or blending the scotch? Yeah. yeah you I'm, can't I'm check it sure. out on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I'm not sure uh, what what you mean by blend. Um, Blending. B L E N. But anyway. Yeah, you hear you hear that <clears throat> you hear that word if you go to a barber shop. <laughs> Could you type it? Yeah, yeah. I can sure. Maybe the sound is a little different. Blending. Yeah. Blending here. No, I don't know. Oh, dye. Yeah, to dye your hair. No. No? Not the color? No. No. <laughs> don't, but the barbers don't use dye. Okay, what what do they use? What, what, what I don't know what you're talking about. Cause I'm not yeah. yeah, I say, I say it. I said yeah. there's words you don't know it in barber shop. Right, right, yeah. exactly. I, I have no idea. But you try to to. Well, in any case, um, good pronunciation because I understood what you were what you were trying to say, but I didn't understand what you were trying to say. <laughs> so good pronunciation. But I didn't blending. Know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, like I said, today we're going to. Um, so everybody has the uh, YouTube app, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's um. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that's that's this one. Um. Let's see here. Who doesn't have it? Um. Joff and Jairo and Ryan. Yep. You apparently still don't have it. Um. This uh, YouTube app here. This one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, right here. So you might have to go to view more apps and go to here. Yeah. So that's uh that's what we're going to use today is the YouTube app. Um and I have here a list of four songs that we're going to no five that we're going to take a look at and well maybe we might only get to three of them. But I want to share with you um, one very good song for pronunciation, one okay song, and one meh, <laughs> not so good. Um, and I want you to tell me which one you, uh, which one is which. Yeah. So which one is good? Which one is okay? And which one is meh? Okay. So I'm just gonna play. I'm just going to play um, about thirty or forty-five seconds of each, and I'm sure you'll 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 recognize. I'm sure you'll recognize um, the songs. They're all very popular, and um, then we're going to talk about um, what should you look for. What. What should you look for in a song when when you want to practice pronunciation? Yeah, so this one is um, uh, so yeah, the link should be this one. That's that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is yes. song number one, which is REO Speedwagon. Can't fight this feeling any longer. Or can't fight this feeling anymore. And I want you to determine is it very good, okay, or meh for pronunciation? Okay? Here we go. What do you, what do you mean with meh? Uh, so meh. Eh, not, not very good. Ah. Yeah, meh. It's a slang word. Um, it's not really a word. It's more of a sound. Meh. Between between good and um, bad. No. Um, In medium. Uh, yeah, kind of. Like, In medium. It's like yeah. so so. Mm, it's less than so so. So very good. Ah. Good. 
good, so-so, meh, bad. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what do you think? Very good? Okay? Or very good. Okay. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very nice. Good. Very good. For very pronunciation. Good. Remember, we're, we're focusing on pronunciation here. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what makes it good? The It's very clear, the pronunciation and the... Or very know with words and think slowly uh, speaks slowly yep it's slow but but still has clear rhythm is to understand right. his voice yep and he imitates real speech right that's what you're looking for you're looking for um you're looking for something that has um, that has real speech elements. Like when I speak, my voice goes up when I accent something, right? So if I say I can't fight this feeling any longer, verb uh, things that I accent are I can't fight this feeling any longer, and in his melody, right? He does the same thing. I can't fight this feeling any longer, right? So he follows the same intonation as when I when I speak normally. I can't fight this feeling any longer, right? So that's number one: is you have to imitate real speech. Makes sense. So yeah. the melody has to follow the same stress pattern. Boom. 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 Right? So it has to imitate real speech. It's slow, but has rhythm. What else makes it what else makes it good? The lyrics. The singer speaks clearly. Mm-hmm. You can almost see his lips when he says stronger, longer, clear, right? When he pronounces it. Does uh, that... Well, when he I... Says, yeah? Mm -hmm. That is in, in a rhetoric sense, because I, I can see just the lyrics the, in, the, in the video. You, you didn't hear the video? I can hear it, and I, but I can see the lyrics, not the mouth of the singer. But I, I'm saying you can imagine. I'm imagining, yeah. yeah. It, it's actually better if... It's actually better if you get one that does have their mouth shape. The mouth, yeah. So a better one would be a real video. With lyrics like on the side, right? So, like, he's there 
I can't fight this feeling any longer. And you see the lyrics on the side. Or you watch the video and you have the lyrics, like, on the desk next to you. Yeah. So you want both things. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the lyrics and see anything else that makes it good. So let's go back here to... Mm, very, very basic vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Basic, normal vocabulary. Yep. No funny words or, yep. or slang. Very good. I mean, sometimes slang is good, but for pronunciation, you want to choose words that are common. So let's take a look again at this part here. Here we go. I'm going to click play. Okay, so what else what else is good? The pause that you in the each phrase, each sentence. Yeah, so if we go back to, to this part right here. Uh, uh, right here where he says what started out as friendship has grown stronger. He has, he has a pause in his voice, right? So natural pausing and phrasing. So that's another good thing about this song. Yeah? So let's actually try this, yeah? Um, where you guys are going to sing along with the video, okay? And I want you to try to pronounce it with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by phrasing? Mm. <laughs> that's, that's a very good question. Um. <laughs> the, the song has some way to, to phrasing, to speaking when you are singing. Right. Um, phrasing, it's like um, chunking words together. Yeah, it's how it's how people um, combine words together, and it's also like it has to do with beats. Like it has eight bars, and he finishes speaking at the end of eight bars, and he has a natural downward intonation at the end of the eight bars. So phrasing is like intonation, and um, sorry. Uh, intonation and chunking, right? Putting words together and musicality, where you have like, like a, a closure at the end. What started out as friendship has grown stronger, right? And then da 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 da, da right? So it has like these ba 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 ba. Right, so the phrasing is how the music leads from one part to the next. So, do you guys want to try singing along? Yes? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the lyrics first and try pronouncing them first, and then we'll try to sing along with him, okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, where is it? Okay, so the first one, here we go. How would you say this? Can everyone see? No, uh, it's not running the video on my screen. Can you see it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how would you say this? I can find that I can find this feeling any longer. Very good. 
Make sure you get a nice strong can. Can't. Mm. I can't. Mm. Can't. Can't. There you I go. Can't. Uh, the T almost disappears. I can't. can't. I can't play. I can't hear you well. I don't know why. We cannot hear you. Yes, can you hear the teacher perfectly? No, the voice is good. The screen is your voice is breaking up. Yeah, the screen is stopped. Voice is over. So, the teacher anymore. So you can't hear the teacher anymore. I can't hear the teacher anymore. Still <laughs> 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 I'm here and waiting to return. <laughs> It seems that there are some problem with the hangout today. <laughs> uh. Well, anyway, I already know the song. Yeah, but she's coming back. Yes, I mean, hello. Welcome back, teacher. Hello. Hello. Sorry. What? I said sorry. A better place. Well. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. So, did you guys sing? Yes, we did. Yeah. Actually, we invented a new lyric for that song. You invented new lyrics? Based on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Sing it for me. What did you what did you sing? Well, something invented the first <laughs> the first word. But okay. Who who was? Uh, maybe it's shame now. I don't know. I can hear the teacher anymore. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was I can hear the teacher any longer. <laughs> but still I'm here to wait him to for the class. Come back. <laughs> come back. That's great. That's great. Can you guys hear me now? No. Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Actually that that's that's a, that's that's the next step um, is to make the music your own. You know, after you've sung it, you can make the music your own and and keep the rhythm, right? I can't fight this feeling. I can't hear the teacher. You know, it has the same intonation to it. That's great! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes me so happy. You have no idea. <laughs> okay, so um, so you all agree it's a good song, right? Very good song. Yeah. And yes. it's and it's a fun song too, right? Um, yeah. So so that's that's one of the reasons I chose it. Okay, now uh, let's see. Um, 
if I can go back to my to my YouTube. Oh. Yep. So um, I'm going to play the next song for you, and I want you to tell me: is it very good? Okay. Here we go. Or me. <sighs> Um, because I can't there hear are you. other things like grammar and things like that that you can do, but we're for hmm? which? What's wrong? There is nothing. Can wrong. you can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Yes, there would. Okay, so here's the next song. Come on. Same song. There's. How do I get to this song? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> okay, so here's, yeah. Funny. Here's the next song. Yeah. So just a sec. Um. Uh. So here is the next one, and here's the link, and where are you guys? You're over here. Okay. So here it is. So for those of you in the in the um, in the in the uh, lobby, there's the link. So here's the song for you. Okay. So, what do you think of that song? I think that Good. it's we, yeah. we, uh, I okay. I hear I hear it's music okay. more than uh, more than lyric, more than words. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it's very fun, right? It's very it's a very like dancing. For me, for, for me uh, as a beginner, I I can't understand because uh, the, the the music the the sound of music more than uh, more than her voice. Yes, yeah. it's right. it's a little bit harder to understand the lyrics inside the music. Yeah. So in this case, what you would want is um, you would want the lyrics. Uh, Let's see here. Let's get loud, Gloria and Stefan. You would want the lyrics right next to you, yeah? So here they are. Um, okay, there we go. So you would want the lyrics here. Um, you would want the lyrics right right next to you when, when you... Um, And, and Jennifer Lopez sing that song too? Yes, yes, I think she did. Um, but I like Gloria Stefan. Uh, yeah. Actually, more more than <laughs> more, more than Jennifer. So so if we take a look at the lyrics, right? You can and we and we um, hear the song at the same time, right? We can see there are some very very good things. So this is this is an okay 
okay, or yeah. more and more intermediate or advanced. Right? It's it's a little bit faster, right? And the m music is louder, so her her voice is is harder to hear. But let's take a look at the lyrics. What's good about the lyrics? It's basic vocabulary too. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, very little slang. Same on people, perhaps, and I nobody gonna tell ya. But yeah, there is a little bit of um, not so good grammar. Ain't nobody gonna tell ya. Gotta tell ya. But in terms of pronunciation, it's very good because she has this gotta, wanna, right? Don't you, don't you waste it, right? She said she doesn't say don't you see she says don't you right don't you waste it every feeling every beat you gotta taste it you gotta you gotta you gotta so yeah. for this particular one right this is very good for um, <clears throat> this is very very good for uh, faster speech once you um, once you are more than beginner, right, into like intermediate. I would not give this song to a to a beginner. It's too fast. It the music is loud and her voice sometimes not. And it's it has a lot of like gotta wanna don't ya, which are hard for beginners. So it's 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 good for contractions, um, reductions. Um, and other things that happen in fast speech, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, let's let's take a look at this. I want you to try reading it for me, and then we'll try singing it. So here we go. So go ahead. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Come on. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Turn the music up. Let's do it. Turn the music up. Let's do it. Right? So it has good stress. Right? Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Turn the music up. Let's do it. Let's get loud. Turn the music up. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Let's get loud. Right? Let's get loud. Uh huh. Turn the music up to hear that sound. Let's get loud. Let's go now. I know about it. Yeah, why you do? gotta do? So this one is harder, right? But it's good for quick pronunciation. Ain't nobody gotta tell you what you gotta do. So it's not whatcha. what you gotta do. It's what you what you gotta do. If you wanna live your life, live it all the way, and don't you waste it. Right, so you can see that actually this song is really, really good for higher level pronunciation. Yeah. Do you want to try it with her? Yeah. Oliver, Oliver. What? Try it with her. So I'll give you the link to this. To this. With, uh, to these lyrics. Who? There's the link. Yeah. I got the lyrics, yeah. Yeah, so there's the lyrics. And I'm, I'm going to put the song on. I want you to try to pronounce along with her. Yeah. Do you, do you mean that I, I try to sing with her? Yep. Try to okay. sing with her. Yep. Exactly. Yeah? You want to try? I think you should try it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no demand. You have a good voice. You, you have a good voice. Yeah, but it's you a can. woman's song. You can, you can. It's okay, okay. if it's not perfect pronunciation I'll, or perfect. I'll do, I'll do my best. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go.
Okay. So hopefully you all got a chance to try to pronounce with her. Yes? I was doing it. I don't know about you, but I was I was muted, right? I was yeah. muted. But yeah, everybody was trying, I hope. You didn't hear anyone. No, yeah. I didn't hear anyone. Me too. <laughs> but we are all muted. Did any did anyone try? Yeah, I try. Okay, perfect. Good. <laughs> Oliver unmuted her his cell. No, but out of nine. <laughs> <laughs> I was muted when I was trying. Okay, perfect. Very good, very good. But do you see do you see what I mean? Do yeah. do you see what I mean about like choosing choosing your music is very important, right? What 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 characteristics the music has? Um, will lead you to better pronunciation or not. And I'm going to give you an example now, and you have to choose. Is it very good, okay, or meh? Meh. Okay? Meh. I bet you can predict what it is, but here we go. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what's uh, so Marco? You're saying me. Why do you say me? Yeah, because uh, we we can heard some words, but not not so. I am not understand every word, uh, every sentence. Just some words. Yeah. This is the kind of music that you sing like na 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 na. Eh. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. What? So if I, I actually showed you the lyrics to this song, you I, might I be surprised. I didn't find it so bad. Actually, <laughs> I, I find that it's a little more easy to understand than the last song on for Gloria Stefan. Because the music is not so low when he's phrasing, when she's phrasing. Yes, I mean there's there's good things about it, but um, for pronunciation, one of the most important things is vowels, and her vowels a e i o u, mm -hmm. etc. Change, rolling in the d. You, it's very hard sometimes to, to understand what she's saying. Um, and she she doesn't have a very clear R also. There's a fire, right? Yeah. Starting in my ha. It's not very clear. So I, I like this song. I, I really but, do. Uh, but teacher, uh, I think uh, Adele uh, is British, uh, British. He speaks with British English. Yeah. Uh, she, she does. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's different. It's different. It's different uh, with with American English. Yeah. No? It is different. We don't say different. We say different. Two different. 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 Yeah. Um, 
but uh, the, the the thing that I don't like about it is just that the the she she um she stretches her words um and sometimes they're not recognizable right yes sometimes without pauses yeah but it's still for example he has uh, another uh, uh, song sit far um uh, another song sit far uh, sit far to the rain yeah, set fire to the rain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she sings um, better. Yes. More, more clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. So the thing is, is that it depends on what your goal is. I mean, I love Adele. I like listening to her. She um. probably has some good, some good lyrics. Um, sometimes her rhythm is a little strange. But usually it's it's a clear rhythm. But I don't like how she modulates her vowels for pronunciation because it's not very clear how she's making that sound, right? Like like uh, Shanae, Shanae said in the in the in the <laughs> uh, text, she said, "No one can sing Adele except Adele." Ha ha! And <laughs> completely right. I mean. If you're going to pick a song and it's a song no one can sing but the singer, it's probably not the best song for pronunciation, you know. Um, well, maybe it's the, happened. not rolling in the street. <laughs> See, see what I mean? Rolling in the deep, not rolling in the street. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Go ahead. Well, well, but maybe. It happened. I'm, I'm. I used to to hear British band, and they had this kind of pronunciation more than um, American bands like Queen or um, I don't know uh, Black Sabbath. Right. They they all have that fire. Ha. Mhm. Mm um. But. When you are looking for a clear example for pronunciation, you want I, but, it's, but I think that is just another way of pronunciation. It's not maybe it's not the American pronunciation; it's the British pronunciation. Well, if the, it were the, just the, R, the, Ameri okay. the, Ameri the American pronunciation, maybe is more similar than the Spanish pronunciation. They had more clear vowels and consonants and that sound, and the and the the British is more like phlegmatic. Right. Um, um. But what I'm what I'm really focused on is not necessarily the difference between British and American um, pronunciation, because there are a lot of British bands that don't do this weird thing with their, with their voices, with the modulation of the vowels, because nobody speaks like that. I don't say rolling in the D, yeah. right? Or, um, you have my heart inside of your hand, and, right? I don't do that. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah, 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 I, I, mean? I, I, I so, let me, Show you, let me show you a different one that you might agree on more that it's that it's bad. Okay, and uh, maybe a rap song. No, I'm gonna show you um, another one that is just great. Metal I love, love this one. The, uh, the rap song are the worst to understand. Well, I'm gonna show. You, um. I, I know that song. Good. Woo!
<laughs> yeah, that is a hard one. <laughs> Can you work? It's very hard. <laughs> it's I've never I understand anything. You had to put it 100 times to to get the lyrics. I I just underst understood. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, and that part is hard too. I exactly. I mean, this is this is what this is what you this is what you need to do when um when you are when you are working on your pronunciation. Um <laughs> you're absolutely right, Shiro. Um is you have to pick the song that you want based on your goal. If your goal is very clear pronunciation of each letter, each vowel, you want something more like REO Speedwagon, right? I can't fight this feeling anymore. That one. Because every word is super clear. It focuses on every vowel, every consonant, and it has, you know, and it's slow. If your goal is to start speaking a little bit more quickly, because you already know all of that, 